Hi, now let us look at properties of subsets after we understood what are subsets. Now the first and the foremost is that every set is a subset of itself. So if we just take a simple example, let's say that we have a set A which has just two numbers, one and two. Now I can say that A is a subset of A, which means the set is a subset of itself. And that is because of the way we define the subsets. Any element A belonging to a subset A implies that it belongs to itself. And therefore, it's kind of intuitive that every set is a subset of itself. Let us look at the second property. Empty set or a null set is a subset of every set. That is the second property. So whenever you are looking at a set, there are two default subsets that will always be there. The first one is the set itself, the whole set itself, and the second one is the null set. Now let us look at a third and a very important property. Let us say we have a situation where we say that A is a subset of B and we also find out that B is a subset of A. Now if this kind of situation arises, it implies that A has to be equal to B. That is the thing. So mathematically, we would state this as A is a subset of B and B is a subset of A. Now this thing can happen if and only if A is equal to B. And, and this is the sign uh, with two sided arrows with two lines which kind of represents if and only if or in short form you also use IFF. So this situation can be true only and only when two sets are equal. That is the only case when they will be the subsets of each other. This is quite an important property. Now let us look at the last property here. A is not a subset of B and this, this, this kind of just gives you an idea of the criteria to try and say in which case a particular set is not a subset of another set and this is what it is all you have to find is one element in A which is not present in B that is the whole thing so if it doesn't meet the definition so for I mean if we were to put it mathematically so we said that an element A if it belongs to A but that particular element does not belong to B. This is how we will put it mathematically. So for the, if, if, if for any element this holds true, then it means that A is not a subset of B. So these were the properties of subsets and we'll continue our discussion on sets in the next video.